Hey, welcome. It's good to see you this week. I'm Terry Vanover and I'm a divorce strategist. I help you navigate divorce without being legally, financially, and emotionally devastated. But just as importantly, I teach you how to heal from toxic relationships so that you can transition confidently into that next phase of your life and find a happy, healthy, wonderful new relationship and new relationships in all of your life. So we're gonna be talking today about Divorce 101. What are the first steps when one of you has decided it's time to move on, to let go of the marriage? And I know it's not an easy decision for anyone. This isn't anything that anyone takes lightly. So if you've decided to divorce, this can be a very emotional time you know, we call this an emotional roller coaster for a reason because it is very difficult. And, you know, they've even come up with seven stages of grief because divorce is just such an overwhelming time. And there's so many layers of grief and stress in divorce. So it's really vital that you get support through this time because this is not an easy time to navigate. And the decisions that you're making today are going to be impacting you for years, if not your whole lifetime. So it is vital that you don't, you don't isolate yourself, that you reach out and get support, do everything you can to make sure that you're making the best decisions that you can during this time. So the first thing that I would tell my clients when they come to me is if you've decided to divorce, is start getting your financials ready. Pragmatically speaking, this can be a very um, triggering thing for many people. Money is always a contentious part of divorce. So if you've decided to divorce or if your ex has asked you for divorce, it's important that you start organizing and getting all your financial documents together. And I have a whole checklist of financial documents and assets and, and your debts and those types of things. So if you're interested in that, please comment on our, our, our link below in the comments below or just send me a, a DM and I'm happy to, to email that to you. So, and why? Because if, if this ends up, someone ends up hiding assets and you have access to records and you have that on record, it will save you in the long run. It's kind of a preventative measure in case someone decides to hide something. You don't have to go in front of a judge and try to get that from them. You have all those documents with you and you can provide them to your attorney. The second thing that I would say that you need to do when you're going through divorce is you need to assemble a team you need to get the right support system. And one of the things is, is that I help my clients with is knowing their options. So many people run out and they hire an attorney and they don't know what they're doing. They don't know to ask the right questions. They don't know what their options are. And hiring an attorney can be one of the most expensive parts of divorce. So it's really important you know what you're doing. So. One of the things that I, I, I sit down and meet with my clients about is like knowing their options. There's everything from cooperative to collaborative divorce to a DIY divorce and everything in between. So it's really important that you understand your options because that's gonna save you time, money, and heartache. Trust me on this one, because this is where I made the biggest mistake. I went out, hired the first attorney, put a down payment, uh, or yeah, um, and just you know walked out of there and and didn't know what to ask, didn't know what kind of divorce I wanted, and didn't know what kind of attorney he was, and it just ended up being just a really bad fit for everyone around, and you know I ended up being homeless and broke and making all the mistakes that you make and and prolonging my divorce. That's another thing. If you make a mistake in this and you have to hire a new attorney, it will prolong your divorce and you have to start all over again. And it's just a really tough situation. So it's really important that you know what your options are and you know how to ask the right questions and pick the right people for your team. And that's what I do. I help my clients navigate this, this process, give them the resources and the knowledge they need so that they know that they're making the best decisions during this time. 
And then the other thing that I see so many people making the mistake with is using a legal system to try to get emotional justice. I see this so often. Divorce is, is a legal process where they're trying to divide up parenting time and they're trying to divide up the, the, the property and the debts and assets. And so, so many people though, use the system or try to use the system to get payback or they've been hurt so they're gonna hurt the other person through this process. And that makes for a very contentious divorce, a very high conflict divorce. And so we want to mitigate that. And one of the things that I do is help you communicate and help you work with an ex who might be high conflict so that you can mitigate that kind of stuff and understand how to work with those types of people so that you can, can navigate through that process better and not end up making the mistakes that cause them to become even more high conflict. So it's really important that you don't let the emotions get in the way. You know, I was talking with a client this week and one of the things he said in working with me was how great it was because at one point he, he, he felt really out of control and he felt like his ex was using this, the system to get power. And I said to him, yeah, and you're giving it to her. You're giving away your power. You're allowing her to control your emotions. And it was that reframe that helped him kind of get himself back. And I gave him some, some exercises and some strategies so he can feel back in power on his own without letting her trigger him. And so that's the biggest mistake people make. They have an ex that triggers them and they give away their power and it ends up costing them in the long run. And luckily he has a great team. He has me, he has a, a really great legal team actually that also understands this process and they understand how to work with a high conflict ex. And they're very communicative as well. And so when you have the right team, it can help you get through this process better. And also I help him understand how to navigate these emotions. You know, he's got some grief coming up. He's got some guilt coming up. He's got some, you know, finding himself again. He's learning how to find his identity again after this divorce. So we're addressing all of that so that when this legal process is said and done and finalized, man, he's going to hit the ground running and be ready to go in this next chapter, no matter what happens. So having the right support, having the right team is really, really important so that you're making the best decisions. So if you need support, if you need someone to help guide you through this process so that you don't need or make the, the mistakes that so many people make that keep them broke and you know losing more than they have to and not knowing what they're entitled to, then reach out to me. I'm happy to have a phone conversation with you, the three steps for navigating this process better. And we can talk about your situation and how to get you through this process in a better, more efficient manner. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Uh, if you have questions, you guys know, put them in the group, I'm here for you. Let me know if you need anything. All right, I'll talk to you next week, bye-bye.